It's been a year since one of the worst serial killings in the city's history. 11 women found dead in one house of horror. Tonight, they were remembered. News Channel 5's Curtis Jackson joins us now with the story. Danita, a year ago, the victims' families and community reacted with pain and anger at the gruesome discovery on Imperial Avenue. Tonight was no different. About two dozen people, including families of the victims, came to remember the 11 women who were murdered and buried in and around Anthony Sowell's house. The case prompted several changes to how the city handles missing persons and sex crimes. But tonight, some said not enough has changed. They want to see the city do more. They also want to see Sowell pay for his alleged crimes. We are good black men. I get the maximum of what he can get. I want him to get the electric chair. I don't believe in it, but I want him to get it. Because he mistreated a lot of young ladies around here. Sowell will stand trial in February. He has pled not guilty. Join us Sunday night at 11. We'll take an in-depth look back and show the impact of the Imperial Avenue murders today. Curtis Jackson, News Channel 5.